This is how Sugar acts right before she attacks him. The grocery store? I just went to the grocery store, I guess. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, I, got, I got a little duck to put on. Sugar, come here, sit. Now, no, don't you start that. that I treat my dogs is basically the same way that pimps treat their street walkers. Good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. <laughs> I know I'm not the only person that eats leftovers for breakfast. I can't be the only person in the world. I know I'm not, but that's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. I have leftovers from Chili's, but... I'm just gonna put it in a bowl, like all together, sort of like a, what is it, like Chipotle or Cadoba bowl, and then just have it like that. So I'm basically cooking breakfast. This is how Sugar acts right before she attacks him. She's thinking about it. Told you. Evil bitch. It's always nice to see them getting along for once. I just went to the grocery store. The grocery store? I just went to the grocery store. I guess my country is coming out. And we're going from an empty fridge to full. Yippee. I'm gonna be making dinner tonight, which I don't do that often, but I'm gonna make barbecue chicken with mashed potatoes and broccoli. I've made it once before and it actually turned out really good. I followed a recipe online. I don't know. I just found a recipe online for barbecue chicken. So I made it and then the second time I tried to make it, it was like not that good. So we'll see how it turns out. I will let you know. So I think it came out okay. What do you think, Mr. Thomas? Oh, thanks. I just finished up at the gym we did chest today. I didn't record any of my workouts, but got it in, did our run this morning. It was really nice this morning. It was like, I think 48 degrees, which is really nice since we had a bunch of snow last week. So I'm gonna head home, shower, walk my dogs and catch up with you later. <laughs> so I grabbed their leashes and they just ran to the door because they already know what we're about to do and they're so excited. <laughs> yes, mama. Are you excited, babes? So I'm having leftovers for breakfast again this morning. And last night, Justin rated my dinner a five out of 10. And he said the time before that it was a four out of 10. So I guess I can call that progress. But to my defense, he was raised by women that cook like really good. His grandmother and mom are really good cooks. I mean, they can cook everything and it all tastes really good. So if you have like, I guess, normal taste buds and you're not used to having, you know, gourmet food for every meal, then I think you would probably rate it a seven or eight out of 10. I don't know, whatever. It tastes good to me, so. So the time has come, it is way overdue, but I am finally taking my braids out and I'm actually gonna get, get it rebraided tomorrow. But I think it's funny, I have this one lady at work Whenever I get my hair braided like this, she always asks me, oh my gosh, like how did your hair grow so fast? And then I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not real. It's, you know, it's, I've added hair to it. It's not all my hair. And then she's like, oh, oh, I didn't know. And then when I take it out, she says, oh, you cut your hair. And I just say, no, no, I just took my braids out. That wasn't all my hair. And we've gone through this cycle like three times. So I'm just like, either she's a complete idiot or what do you think it is, sugar? I don't know, but I'm just like, at this point, how do you not understand that this hair is not real? She said it to me when I went in on Monday. She's like, oh, your hair is getting so long. And I was just like, <laughs> cause I'm, I'm not explaining it to her anymore. By this point, she should get it. So I usually just cut the braids like this short and then it's just less hair to take out and it's just much quicker. It is 5.05 and I just got to the gym. Oh, you cannot see me. 
I just got to the gym and time to get this workout on. <laughs> I just got my hair done it only took him about four hours which is I mean it's a long time but it's fast for getting this type of style but yeah I'm embracing the middle part I'm fine with it I don't want to be considered old it's fine I'm starving though I like all I had this morning was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so I stopped Panera. I stopped at Panera and I got this bowl oh god I guess I still look old though because these pants are all ripped up but this is just like the Baja chicken bowl and yeah I'm just gonna grub mm. I can't be the only one that like needs something sweet after every meal so I got a chocolate croissant mm. it's gonna be so good so as much as I hate walking in the rain I always try to walk them in the rain like you know it's like a couple times a month or just really whenever I'm whenever I'm up to it because I don't want them to be little sissy dogs that are afraid to walk in the rain so it's Saturday and I'm just now about to film my formal video for the week, which is actually going to go up tomorrow. I usually film it on Wednesdays, but I, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it on Wednesday, so I didn't film it on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So today's the day I got to get it done. Um, and I would normally film in this room, but I'm doing laundry or doing washing the sheets for this bed right now. So, I won't be filming in this room, so I need to find another place in this house that has a good background where I can film it. So, yeah, I'm going to try to figure that out. So, I ended up filming the main video right there. And Sugar has taken over. But I wanted to show you guys because I'm struggling right now. So, I broke my... I broke my, um, what is that called? Tripod? I broke my tripod. And now I'm just using a uh, hair tie to keep it all together. So I just like connect my phone to the hair tie and then, yeah, I need to buy a new one. So I'm really bossy when it comes to my dogs. Like everything that they get, it comes from me. We don't leave their toys out. We don't leave food out. We don't leave water out. Like everything that they want, it comes from us directly. So I'm going to give them some water and I'll just show you how I do it. Samson, sugar, come. Sit. Samson. Drink. Drink, boy. I guess he's not thirsty. Sugar, drink. yeah basically if I give them water like this I'll just make them do it one at a time I don't always make them do it like this but I don't know I just think yeah I don't always make them do it like that but I just like them to know that I'm the boss and everything that they get comes from me so actually I watched this documentary on Netflix once I can't remember what it is if I remember if I look it up I'll just make it pop up on the screen but the way that I treat my dogs is basically the same way that pimps treat their street walkers or their hookers or whatever you call them like it's the same exact way <laughs>
I got this in, I got tests. I can do it this way where you learn how Jesus first. Yeah. Jesus I, first. I, got, I got little ducks, but I, I can't, I can't kill them. Moving them legs. I can't kill them. I can't kill them yet. I can't kill them yet. It's a shame. back into the office today um, hopefully it's not all day but we'll see I just got to take care of a couple things and then I'll be heading back home out of coffee I had this green smoothie this morning we'll see how it does so I just got home from work and I'm taking my dogs for a walk that way you know once they're out and I'm home they're just a lot more relaxed so just walking them gets their energy out and we taught them when they were much younger to walk right next to us just because i mean they're big dogs so like i don't want them pulling me and then whenever we get to the curb they just hop a little a little seat and i mean i don't know if they would actually do that if they ever got loose they've never gotten loose but i don't know it just makes for like looking both ways easier because they're not trying to just like keep going and i'm out of breath i don't know why is it good? Uh, yeah, I got, I got my loose. Good, very good, very good. Thank you. He had some. I don't want it for. I want it for you. I already ate it. Oh, well, I'm gonna eat mine. Okay. I'll eat mine. I love it. You love it? I love it. Oh, yeah. Go on somewhere. What is it, Mama? Excuse you. So I got her toy. Now I can make her do anything. Down. Sit. Down. This one stubborn little bitch. Down. Sit. I wanted to come on and end the vlog. If you haven't checked out my latest video, How to Invest $100, you definitely look should. And. Oh, look, look at that. Shook, shook. What is it? Look, Mama, look, say bye-bye. Look at it. See you next week. Something.